Kowski, who is with Kevin Kisner. Part of the final day drama here at the players. You told me before the round it was going to be hectic. You tried to separate yourself if possible. Yeah. How do you sort of characterize falling behind and then the late charge at the end? Well, you know you got birdie holes coming in. You know, 16 and 17, just a sandwich today, so you got a chance. Um, you know, I just didn't make any putts. And early in the round, I gave myself some chances and I didn't hold anything. But I, I had a great, great day and uh, really fun to be out there. What an atmosphere coming in. You also talked about tapping into that final day at Hilton Head. How much of that was in your mind as you were trying to win this thing? I don't think I was really looking like back at that, but it, the calmness I had all day, I'm sure, was from the experience I had. Um, so I probably relied on it without knowing. Uh, but, you know, every day is different in this game. It was, as you know, somebody shoots 65 and then 80. So uh, you never know what's going to happen. I'm just proud of the way I'm handling myself down the stretch. Despite falling just short, what are the positives you take away knowing you can compete with the best? I mean, my last three tournaments, I'm 44 under par and, and three tournaments. So that's that's pretty incredible golf. And, and if I keep that up, I'm going to win one of these. And you get to hold this uh, cute little thing at the end of the day. Here, first Mother's Day, I'm sure she'll never forget it. Kevin, thanks for